three. I mean, well, okay, I'll answer the question. I mean, I don't think there is a top three that you can say this applies to everyone. What's really key is that you understand the story and you understand your market and you understand how to connect with that market and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, one of the best things you can possibly do um, as, as a filmmaker, and, and bizarrely, not many of us do this, is like try and spend a day thinking about what your, you know, what a day in the life of your prime target audience is. You know, what do they read? What do they do first thing in the morning? Do they look at the internet or do they read a newspaper? You know, where do, where do they work? What, how do they eat lunch? What, where do they consume their content? Who influences them? And then when you understand that as it relates to your specific film property, then you can go out and start making those decisions. Right. Yeah, agreed. I was just going to, you know, it's, I think, go everywhere and listen to the conversation, right? And I'm being a panelist now and not a moderator, but go everywhere, listen to the conversation. Yeah, because it's a lot of go everywhere. Right. I haven't heard any specific, no one's giving a specific. Well, because depending on who your audience is, right, they're all in different places. I would say definitely it depends who your audience is and who your project is. A sci-fi movie is going to originate totally differently than a teen and opera flick in different places. The teeny bopper flick, if it has beautiful women in it, is going to resonate more on break.com, whereas the sci-fi flick might resonate more on rubber. Mm -hmm. But to give you specific ones, keep in mind the second largest search engine in the world is actually YouTube. There are a lot of searches done on Google in the search box, mm -hmm. and the next most are actually on YouTube. So if you have a trailer, the odds are anyone looking for it is probably going to go to the YouTube search box. So I would say you want to make sure that you put your promotional trailer on YouTube in a way that's findable probably with like the movie's title. Just real quick too, I just uh, read a uh, study that Nielsen released that apparently in the 18 to 24 year old age bracket, MySpace is the first place that people go to search for a film. Now granted that's something they've already heard of and they're searching for it, but just something that you might. Where did you read that? I found it online, but it's a Nielsen study. Um, yeah. They're like the new AOL. Uh, Twitter, um, namely because I can organize my ranks very quickly via Twitter. We can use it at live events. Um, and also, right now, Twitter is still kind of er in its early stages, and s smarter, savvier people tend to be on there versus MySpace, which I really have is totally owned by studios, and I have no interest, and it's actually contrary to what we're doing, which is essentially an anti studio movement. Um, YouTube, I have a love-hate relationship with, but all of our propaganda ends up on, on there so we can use it, and then we twist their arm to promote it. And um, I think after that, we have you know our site Nexus, but we have um, a site that's run by the wingmen that has message boards and things of that sort, and that's actually hugely important and, and growing. And so all the, the WordPress tools they use and, <coughs> and things like that, they use Flickr, and um, basically they get everywhere that I can't get to. Mm -hmm. And that's invaluable. So, um, and face they use Flickr and Facebook, I think mainly. A lot's been mentioned here, so I'd say, on a more do-it-yourself style, I'd say you have to be on WordPress. You have to be a blogger if you're going to be making a film, and you have to really use that as your home base. It's again about ownership of saying, I start here, I syndicate out to all these other sites, I make it pick up, I make it views, I make it nothing, and then finding a way to innovate so you can tell, you know your PR company or some somebody who has, everybody knows someone at Edelman or some big PR firm and says, can you help me get an announcement out about this? Can I drop something on the wire for a couple hundred bucks or or free somehow and, and just get people to start talking about Because as, as soon as you get multiple pickups, people start to swell a little bit and then you can use that and grow your Facebook and your Twitter, you know, base and see where it goes. But I think you have to start with the WordPress or similar blog. Thank you.